Southwest is more than just films, music, and the latest and greatest in the tech world. A big part of the experience is food and drinks you can get your hands on at all of those parties and local restaurants, but it can be easy to overdo it. Here to help you make the most of it is Carly Pollock with Nutritional Wisdom. Hi. Good morning Good to you. Good morning. All right, you've got some tips and tricks to help get people through the next few days. I do. I think regardless of whatever event it is, at some point we've all told ourselves the story that eating healthy healthy is impossible and my goal is to completely eradicate that story from your mind that is not a true story for a south by it's about having fun not being deprived so i think the focus should be what we can add in instead of what you take away and also you've got to prepare yourself at the beginning of the day because you're going to be walking a lot you're going to be standing in long lines you may not have time to get out of line to go grab a bite to eat but you still want to feel good yeah absolutely i think the main goal is to have fun not to feel bad the whole time so here are some of my tricks okay uh, everyone has um, taken bars with them to various places but there are very few bars that would meet nutritional win wisdom standards of health my favorite is this Thunderbird Energetica bar it's a local company it's an organic bar and the most important thing with the bars is that it has very few ingredients there you really want to make sure you can pronounce each thing that is in the bar and where do you get these bars? You can get these at many local grocery store, Whole Foods, Central Market, and all around town in various, various little places. Okay. This may feel a little quirky to most people, but I am the queen of vegetables. And a little trick that I have is that I will buy uh, baby food packets, organic baby food squeezies that are vegetable-based, not fruit, because that's easy to get in for us, especially during South By. Mm -hmm. And I'll just be on the go and get some vegetables in my body. Now, do these have to be refrigerated? They don't. Okay. So you can just shove them in your bag, and, uh, you know, if your friends start to make fun of you, we know who gets the last laugh, right? <laughs> For sure. They're starving, and you're feeling good at that <laughs> right, point. Right. And for this, you know, most people will say that the best hangover cure is to drink more booze, and if that's, um, if that's your idea, then you go for it. But <laughs> I think the best thing would be to rehydrate, and this coconut water has so much electrolyte in it that it will really help the body rebalance. Most people don't know that in order for the liver to excrete one molecule of alcohol, you, it has to be surrounded by three molecules of water, which is why dehydration is such a risk factor when you're drinking. So for every drink you have, try to drink at least three times the amount of water. And if you have trouble with that, coconut water is a great way to speed up that process. All right, so always have water in hand if you've got a beer or some type of mixed drink. So cliche, but yes. Going on. And this right here, again, this is for to cure that hangover, to, to prevent that. It is. The solution okay. to pollution is dilution. You want to dilute your tissues, get it all out. All right. Very good advice for us. Thank you yeah. so much, and good Thank luck to you. all of you.